Hey guys, it is Akila. I'm just coming to you guys um, because I am actually uh, have started a new journey. Um, I am actually um, about to go to DR for um, plastics. So, in my weight loss journey, I have lost over 100 pounds, um, which I started at over 350 pounds. And right now, as of today, I am 255 pounds. Um, I do hope to lose um, at least uh, 5 to 10 more pounds before I leave. Uh, today is May 19th. <clears throat> and I will start to release my videos um, once I've already had surgery. Um, my reason for doing that is because um, I'm just refusing to allow any negative energy or anything else to enter my whole realm of peace of that I've created. Um, there are so many negative connotations for going to the DR for surgery. And to be honest, I could really care less how anybody feels about it. Um, I'm not asking anybody's permission. Um, however, I do know that there are ladies out there that um, really would be interested to go. Um, but are really lost as to <clears throat> excuse me um you know what what you need so basically this video is going to be a what's in my bag video um or what's in my suitcase um so we'll go ahead and get started so um i will say that i am uh having surgery on june 5th um with uh, Dr. Doctora Baez. So, um, Baez has been performing surgeries for over 10 years. Um, I feel like she is one of the safest uh, plastic surgeons out there. Um, what I am planning on getting is a tummy tuck, lipo, and a BBL. So, I am going to stand up and show you guys um, what I'm looking like now. I normally waist train, but for this video, I made sure I did not put anything on. So, um, as you can see, I do have uh, loose skin and all of that good stuff uh, in the fupa. So, um, yes, I am going to get a tummy tuck um, and ass definitely needs. Jesus and then uh she will lipo uh my rose in the back to make me uh more smooth now with uh the rose that I do have um I probably will have to go and do a round two uh simply because I will probably need a back lift um and then I also want to do a arm lift as well so, um, I am planning, uh, going back in 2020 to get, uh, back lift, arm lift, and, uh, breast lift. Um, I have not decided whether or not I'm going to do implants yet. Um, I have been finding that, um, there are women that are being, uh, becoming sick from breast implants. So, um, that idea and notion alone scares me. Um, but Baez does not do back lifts. Um, so, um, I am looking, um, uh, into other doctors to see, uh, when I will actually get those done or who will do it for me. Um, <clears throat> but, so what's in my bag? So, um, when I go to the DR, I am not going to, um, be carrying no fancy purse or anything like that. Um, this is going to be something that I can actually just drape across me. Um, that way, um, you know, you wear it like this so you don't have to worry about anybody snatching or stealing your stuff. Um, to be on the safe side, I actually want to uh, have my money in all different separate compartments. So this is my mini... Uh, I wouldn't call it a safe, but, um, you know, you've got the different pockets you can put your money in and your passports and all of that good stuff, um, and just wear it as a, as a fanny pack to keep close to your body. Um, I actually wore this bag in China, uh, when I went to China and I already have my passport in here. 
so um, I actually love this bag. Um, now, when I'm in the States, uh, I'm always carrying my duty bag. But uh, when I go out of the country, I do not carry um, my expensive bags. Uh, so, uh, I am doing a Beauty in the Box. So, um, I am extremely overpacked. Um, I know that and I am okay with that. So, um, one of my main things is that um, I will not be returning direct straight home after I fly back from the DR. I will be going to stay with one of my friends for probably about two or three weeks until I'm able to, you know, get around a little better on my own. And then plus I'm actually in the, the, uh, in the transition of relocating as well. So it just makes sense to go to one of my friend's house so they can help me out through this process. Um, I fly out on June 2nd, which is exactly 14 days. It is so exciting. But, um, so I fly to 14 days and then I return back to, um, Chicago on, uh, June 19th. So I will be there a total of 17 days. Um, I'm getting there three days before my, uh, surgery. Um, however, um, you know, I've heard that sometimes your flight kind of messes with your hemo. Um, and your hemo has to be at least uh, 12 to be able to get surgery. Um, also, um, you know, that hasn't really been a problem for me because I've been staying on top of that. And it's been running anywhere between uh, 13 to 14. So um, I'm not really worried about that. Um, but if I do have any issues, I did buy Splatoon. So I did buy Spatone. So Spatone is a liquid iron. The light got it. So Spatone is a liquid iron. So um, for all of you ladies that actually um, are having troubles with your hemo, I heard that it's really great. Um, I will actually do a video um, of what I am taking to increase my hemo. So, um, I won't get into that, um, on this video. Uh, I'm going to read to you what all comes in the beauty in the box. So, the beauty in the box is actually $280. Um, when you go on there, you get to select, um, what size cami you wear, what, uh, flavor insurance you want. And then, um, if you want the 360 Vipo foam, then that's like an upcharge. And then if you, you get to uh, decide what type of pattern you want. Um, so, um, it has a boppy pillow, extra stuffed, Lysol disinfecting wipes, 35 count, tenna pads, 60 count, a MND Albor with lateral protectors. Upgrade to wraps is ten dollars, as I was stating. Um, the MD backboard, get out of my video. So, um, I swear your kids don't want nothing until you get busy, but anyway, so, um your lipo foam so you'll have three sheets uh for your lipo foam which um it'll be the one on the left side the right side and then your one that you put in the front and then uh the m and d backboard then you will get a pe as i was telling you your insurers you get to pick your flavor that you want um there are huggy sensitive wipes a 200 uh count you, she uh, includes a toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, lemon soul, I don't know if I'm saying that right, lemon soul, intimate feminine wash, a four ounce, Protex antibacterial soap, there is Ubranol massaging cream, four ounces, there is Arnica oil, citronella bug repellent, which I heard, um, from different groups that I'm in that uh, bugs are bad if you go out at night. So, I don't really plan on being out at night. But, that is good to have. 
Um, she has advanced hand sanitizer, two ounces. And then um, there is chlorhexidin, which is also um, a HIBA cleanse. Um, a 20 count chucks. A thrombocid, which is also um, cream to massage with. Um, what the heck is that? Um, you also have rose hip oil, uh, the Tecosol powder, or you can um, decide if you want the Bicoderm or the Curaderm powder. Um, I know the girls in the bias group use the Tecosol powder on their incisions and they said it worked really well, so that's the one that I chose. Um, however, I did hear the bias does not like it, so I probably should use it when I get home. Shh, don't tell them. But anyway, um, you get four under shirts, white. You get a 20 pack of gauze. You get Q tips, an extension cord, and a box of gloves. So, um, so um, basically, with Beauty in the Box, you um, make your deposit, which is $20, and then um, you send her your flight information and then she meets you either at the airport with your things or she'll just deliver them to your recovery house so um you know that's just totally um up to your discretion how you guys handle that um i will put her link in the bottom box if anybody's interested in getting the beauty in the box um so i also heard um great reviews for her beauty in the box but um they said buy extra wipes and again, since I said I'm not coming straight home, um, I did get a pack of or a, a tube of ready wipes, antibacterial hand wipes. Um, I got a four pack of the Arnica Care, which this is the um, Arnica Cream. I, I hate that the light. Yeah, so it's the Arnica Cream. So I got a four pack. Um, I took one of them out because I am going to put it in my carry on. Um, you know, sometimes your carry on gets lost. So I want to at least be surgery ready. Um, so if they would happen to lose this bag, I will have my beauty in the box stuff. And then I will have, you know, just a few additional things. So, um, Arnica tablets. Arnica tablets are good for swelling. And uh, your bruises and stuff from your light bulb. Um, unpack the robe. Um, it is going to be very hot in June. So I got something that was really nice and satiny. Um, this was something that I've had for years. Um, and I know when I get hot, I don't want anything on me. So I feel like something satiny would be nice to have something really nice and comforting uh, while I'm away. Um, I did get these so that um, I can fill up some of uh, these with some of the stuff that I do plan to put in my carry-on bag. Body wash. Um, additional gloves. I did get Ziploc bags. The Ziploc bags, you know, um, when you uh, travel, your carry-on, your stuff has to be in here. Um, I bought a six-pack of briefs. They are in the size 10. I wasn't really sure what size to get since I'm going to have a little more booty when I get done. Um, to be honest, um, I had a hysterectomy in 2016, so, uh, I don't have to worry about a period or even wearing panties for that matter, um, because I don't want to mess up my BBL. So, um, these are, you know, just in case I might need them, uh, like when I go out to like the doctor's appointments and stuff like that, because since I'm there so long, I probably actually get to see the doctor, um, three or four times. Um, they were trying to change my flight, so I might not come back until that Friday, um, which is still okay with me. 
Um, but with that being said, um, you know, I just want to be prepared for any and everything. Um, you do need com uh, compression socks. As you see, these are a 2030 and an extra large. And I got the color beige. Manuka honey. Manuka honey is absolutely important. Uh, Manuka honey can be used if you get lipo burns. Um, I know that um, Dr. Baez will uh, more than likely have to be really aggressive with my back lipo because of um, my rose that I still have. Um, so, and then make sure your Manuka honey is at least a 15. This is a 16. Uh, Manuka honey can also be used um, on your in your tea. So one of the really great things is that, um, or you know, that'll help with swelling, is to uh, when you cut the pineapple, uh, boil the pineapple skin, and then once you boil the pineapple skin, just add some manuka honey to it. Um, manuka honey has great healing properties, and so does pineapple. Um, pineapple has bromelain in it, and bromelain is uh, also one of the meds on uh, the list of things that I will talk about um, that you should be taking, uh, getting prepared for surgery. So this here is my own personal uh, skin oil. Um, it is uh, created with all essential oils. Um, it is something that I use and uh, believe it will help with the itching um, in combination with uh, the Benadryl. So um, as I use it, I will definitely um, let you guys know um, how it works. And then that way, um, you guys will be able to um, get that as well. Um, hydrocortisone cream. Basically, um, it's going to help with the itching. Um, this will more than likely be in one of those, uh, you know, one of these uh, travel containers with a label on it. Um, I did get a, I'm borrowing my daughter's back scratcher. Um, you know, that way if you can't get to that itch, especially with that faja on, you're definitely going to need this. Um, I ordered a cane. Um, I know with the tummy tuck, you're kind of bent over, slumped over. So I feel like a cane will definitely, um, help you be able to get around a lot better. Um, it folds down and all of that jazz and then once I pull it out and screw it back together and then I actually bought these four prong feet to go on it because it came with a little circle um, on the bottom and then once I'm done with it I'm just going to give it to my mom because uh, she could use a new cane so yep yeah. um so I was watching Jazzy Jujube and she was saying uh, to get penny liners um, because um, with the with the faja uh, being you know in your butt um, it kind of chafes. So um, this is what this oil is for, and then I'll put um, a penny liner so that um, I won't get any chasing or you know any weirdness going on there um as i was saying i did buy more wipes um again i am oh i never stated i am staying at opulence um the young lady that i booked with oh my gosh i can't even think of her name i think her name is danielle but i can't remember don't hurt me um but she actually lives in chicago so um I'll do a review um, on the recovery house um, actually once I get back to the States as well. Um, but my heart, I absolutely wanted to go to Healing and Beauty, um, but they were booked 
and then uh, once I got my surgery sister, her and I just booked that opulence. Um, so I got three of these. Yeah. So I got three of these. Um, and guys, a lot of the stuff I got from either Walmart, Amazon, or the Dollar Tree. So uh, here are the washcloths. So I got three packs of these. Um, I got Clorox wipes. Three different three packs of Clorox wipes. I got the ginger and turmeric tea. Um, I heard this was really good, um, helping with swelling and uh, you know, just just giving you a speedy recovery. So I definitely wanted to get those. Oh, I'm sorry, that. Um, a little travel size deodorant. Gas relief. Um, one thing, guys, that you definitely want to do um, is get your stool softener um, and this because, you know, once you have surgery, uh, sometimes you can't go for a day after surgery. So definitely be on top of your stool softeners and then bring you a good gas relief. Um, again, this is just something that I grabbed from the dog mm -hmm. So I got gauze. I got uh, cotton balls. Now, while you're actually there in the DR, when you go to see your doctor for the appointments, um, she is actually going to be the one tending to your wound. Um, so, you know, you may need uh, some of this stuff in the meantime, in between time. But like I said, I want to be prepared. Um, once I fly back in, I will be going to someone else's house. So, I would rather have too much than not enough. Um, I heard this is actually good. It's called Arctic Ice Pain Relieving Gel. Um, I do know um, a lot of my sisters um, experience uh, back pain with their lipo. So, just something to, to try to see if it works. Um, your spirometer. Um, these are not given to you in the DR. So it's best to um, get it um, off of Amazon. I actually kept mine or still had mine when I either had my daughter or the last surgery that I had, which was my hysterectomy. Um, but anyway, I kept it and then uh, I'm actually going to be taking it to the DR with me um, because you actually, you definitely don't want your lungs to collapse or to get pneumonia or anything like that. Um, you know, just due to having surgery. Um, okay. Tape. Paw straps. And then I grab, um, So I actually have uh, four sundresses, as I was saying, I'll be there for at least 17 days. So, um, you know, you really don't need a lot of dresses because um, basically there's uh, mainly women at your recovery houses. So you can just walk around with your faha on and or your robe if you want to. Um, so you don't have to be getting all dressed up until you get ready to go to the doctor or if you guys decide to go to the mall or something like that. Um, I did get white t-shirts, um, this is for like when I get ready to come home or something or, um, because I did, uh, bring one, one skirt 
and hopefully it still fits after uh, my tummy cut. So I got white t-shirts, but I also got candies. I have one, two, three, four. So I bought four additional camis, um, three white and one beige. So um, as you know, um, you have to have on a cami and then you put all your pads and boards and all that stuff on. Then you put your faja on. So that way you keep yourself from getting faja burns. Um, I bought towels just in case. Um, I got Tylenol. And then I have more, uh, more, uh, more tape. Um, guys, I found a good deal so basically um i had um been shopping on amazon and uh i put this faja in my cart and then at tax time i basically um looked in the cart and this thing was like 20 or 30 dollars and it was originally like 70 I got, I apologize, I got rid of the container it was in, but this is the Dye-In Faja, um, and it is in a size 2X. So, um, basically what I will do is, um, and it only actually has, um, one set of hooks. So that part sucks that it's only one set of hooks, but um, I'll be able to use this one as a backup uh, Faja, and then I'll make sure I order or purchase another Faja while I'm in the DR. So basically, um, when you purchase, when you get your Faja, um, you will um, buy whatever your bottom is, whatever size your bottom is, and then you'll just get the, uh, the size taken in. So, yep, that's my faha. So, um, in that that essence, um, I will start my journey with three, because um, once you have surgery, um, that faha, of course, is included in the price of surgery, and then usually by the third or the fourth day, um, Dr. Baez has you in your stage two faha, and then, um, like I said, I'm gonna have this one for a backup. So, um, and it's way cheaper to get them taken in over there than it is to get it taken in here. So, I'll get this one taken in while I'm over there. Um, and then I got a blanket. So, I'm actually going to, because it feels like it's a, um, like a, a cardboard on the inside of this. So, I actually want to take that out. But, anyway... Um, they said that the, the hospital clinic that, um, Dr. Bias operates out of is really cold. So, um, I actually got this blanket for Christmas, so it came in handy. So, um, I'm going to take this with me. Um, it is so uber soft. Um, feels good, but it's not too heavy. Um, just like a cute little throw, like when you land across the couch that you might use. And then, um, like I said, it's going to be extremely hot there. So I did get um, a little thing of sunscreen. And that will probably go in my carry on as well. So I did get my pain meds. I'm actually going to um, follow my doctor. I went and got my uh, labs done this morning. Um, so I'm going to see if she will um, see if I can get prescribed some type of um, Percocets or something like that because I heard the meds over in the DR are not good. Um, I did tell you guys that I'm going to do a more extended explanation of your vitamins in that um but i will um let you guys know what i am packing 
so um i have been collecting meds um i did get another toothbrush oh i still got stuff in here hold up um i got chapstick uh hand cream Um, apple cider vinegar. I got another thing of sanitizer. Well, I actually got two, two sanitizers. Um, you want to make sure when you're dealing with, uh, you know, your open wounds and stuff like that, that you are cleaning, uh, you know, staying clean and, uh, cleaning up behind yourself because you definitely don't want to get any uh, type of infections or anything. I'm just putting my dresses and stuff back in there. What else I got stuck in here? Oh, and just some panty liners. I'm going to have to actually take this roll because it keeps opening up. But it was only the Saturday one. But I got me a Monday through or Sunday through Saturday pill box. And basically what I did was I put all of my stuff in here. Um, so that way, um, since you know I will be staying for um, the 17 days. So I just put like, you know, all of my vitamins in here that I have been taking for a uh, pre-surgery um I got Tylenol this is the PM I got Tylenol PM Okay, so Tylenol PM, I got regular Tylenol, I have um, Trilosec, which that helps um, coat your stomach with all of the other meds and stuff that you're going to be taking, or um, and especially like if you have heartburn or something like that. Um, I have Tramadol already. Um, I heard that were good, but... Um, Percocets could possibly be better. Um, when I do my meds video, um, I probably wait. I was gonna say I probably wait and do it so that way I can let y'all know whether my doctor prescribed me them or not. Um, but I mean, regardless, I can always um, talk about that once I get home. Um, I also have naproxen. Um, Naproxen is a pain med. I have Neosporin. Y'all, oh, this is the regular um, Tylenol. I did pack some uh, Q-tips and some toothpicks that I'm actually going to throw in here as well. Um, I am thinking about also going to have my brows done. <clears throat> they do uh, microblading over there for 150 which is really dope because I know over here is um, a few hundred dollars. And then um, I also want to get my teeth whitened while I'm over there. Um, the microblading is 150 and then to get your teeth whitened, it is 150 over there as well. So, um, I plan on taking, um, at least a thousand dollars extra, um, for just in case. I also have, uh, melatonin. Um, I heard, um, you know, some girls be in so much pain or whatever with the lipo or the drain that it's really hard to sleep. So I did want to get me some melatonin so that I could try to sleep. And then I also got um, some Flexoril. Um, Flexoril is um, muscle relaxers. 
So um, I got these last year when I got into a car wreck. So um, I did keep some of these. So I'm going to be taking these as well. So um, like I said, if I can get some Percocets. And then um, if I can get her to prescribe me my um, Lovenox and then my antibiotic, then that'll be great because that'll actually save me money once I get there that I don't have to pay for uh, meds. And then um, just another deodorant. So, um, yeah, that is all I have in my box, guys, or in my bag. Um, as I said, I do know that I am highly overpacked, but I would rather be overpacked than underpacked. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, as I stated, I probably won't start releasing videos until I'll say a few days after I had surgery. So, um, you know, that way then, you know, they'll start coming, uh, and then I'll be doing like, um, you know, my, a video of, you know, my one month, my two months, my three month updates. Um, I'll be doing, you know, how, how the experience over in the DR was, um, I will do a video on my recovery house. Um, and all of that different stuff or and things you should know before you go to the DR so um, guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure you like share and subscribe and I will check with you guys on a later video later